my god! Oh my god, giant! Alright. Alright guys, welcome back for another one. Uh, actually targeting bass today, if you can't tell. Uh, rocking some big old spinner baits today. Super, super windy. We're talking 20, 25 plus mile an hour winds right out of the dead west. Um, so I do apologize about the wind noise. Uh, I'll try to mitigate the best I can, but there's only so much I can do. Typically I've been targeting just catfish this year since ice out, but uh, the river's flooded and we got a really good day to target bass in the spring. I love these windy, kind of partly cloudy days. The sun's just now peeking through. And uh, yeah, it's a good day to throw big spinner baits and uh, other moving baits, chatter baits, and swim baits to see if you can get on some pre-spawn bass. So I don't have a ton of time, maybe an hour or so. I'm just gonna work this wind blown bank and see if we can get shot. So. on a point and then it evens back out over here so uh yeah we're gonna hit these uh coves and all these windblown points and see what we can pull up i love catching bass with spinner baits Woo. bass of the year. Not a bad one to start the year with either. Woo! Not bad, huh? Little chunky guy. I don't know, one and a half. He's fat. He's real thick. Uh, pushing two, maybe. But yeah, I'll take him. Sweet. Slam the old spinner bait. Let's get him back in and do it again. Woo! That felt good. He hit it right in front of me here. I was actually just about to start pumping it in to recast. That's hilarious. Let's do it again. same spot Woo. all right cookie cutter I thought it, it felt bigger when he hit but he's about the same size all right very nice another one he's actually just a tad smaller but right in that one and a half pound range very cool we'll take those now that he hit it right up close here maybe 15 foot off the bank so we'll keep that in mind see you buddy Interesting. He clobbered it. When he hit, I thought I had a real big one on. He really slacked that line up. All right. In this wind, I had to set the GoPro down real low just so it wouldn't get blown over. But uh, we're just getting, let's stay on the wind. We're just getting pelted with wind when I face into it. So I do apologize for the audio right here, but we're still going to fish it just because I think this is going to be one of the better spots today. Let's do it. Giant, giant, he's big. Oh, holy cow. 
get up. I'm gonna land. Oh, he's taking drag. Holy cow, he's big. He is huge. I'm gonna have to step down right here. Oh my god, he is big. Holy cow, he's big. hooked he hit it I was about to lift that up out of the water to recast and he just slammed it oh wow okay guys that is incredible um wow I'm at a loss for words first bass trip out this year and this is probably four and a half five easy easy a four pushing five though just fat thick I mean real big mouth Awesome fish, man. He was hanging out real shallow, right in the dirty water. Wow. I'm going to get a couple pictures of him, and I'll send it back, and we'll do it again someday. All right, big guy. No good way to release it, so I'm just going to have to head dive you. Whoop! That is awesome, man. He just clopped it. Luckily, he hit it so hard, because I did not have a good hook set. hooking in a big fish or a lot of fish that was my third one and biggest of the day um, even though I didn't feel any chafing or scuff marks or anything on my line I still had and retied and trimmed off a good two foot of line just to be safe because you don't want to hook one the same size or bigger and break off just because you had a bad knot or you had some chafing or chipping from some rocks so do yourself a favor be safe trim this up retie a good knot and that's how that's gonna give you more fish man um, you don't want to have bad luck when you're out here, so let's get right back in. All right. At the next spot, I just moved down a little bit from where I was over there. Let's see if we can do that again. fired up okay so that's actually gonna wrap this one up I'm still gonna fish my way back um, I just want to shoot the outro where there's a little bit of wind like I got some trees in front of me so it's probably not as bad with the wind but if I do catch anything else I'll throw it at the end of this video but otherwise that's gonna wrap this one up hope you guys enjoyed it um, I love these uh, windy warm sunny days here in the springtime and you see why fish are fired up and it's fun to catch them on spinner baits any moving baits really where you can just cover a lot of water, cast and reel. Uh, makes it exciting, you know? So uh, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you would like to see more, subscribe to my channel. Would really appreciate it. Uh, a lot more stuff coming up. Catfishing, bass fishing, um, bow fishing coming up too. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys are ready for all that because I sure am. We'll see you on the next one.